I have never run across anyone who actually says why they thought an island would be a good idea. They talk about it as if it was an obvious thing we ought to do. People said we have this big wide river and we don't need all the space we have in the Charles, so why not put an island in the middle of it? I think the island was to keep the Boston city mentality, you know, moving it out into the island as opposed to going to Cambridge. Once the Back Bay had been filled, you had the Boston side, a great sense of civic pride and energy had been produced there. Then you look across <laughs> the Charles River and there's this sort of muddy flat. And so you have this triangular piece of land that was originally going to be developed as a mirror image of the Back Bay. But it sat empty for 15 or 20 years. This was not a place where the elites felt comfortable. Cambridge was an industrial, coal-fired city. Mills, factories. So it made some sense from a Bostonian perspective to try to e extend the Boston sort of consciousness right out into the water. The first person who suggested this was Arthur Shercliffe who was an MIT graduate, and by 1905, he says he'd sketched on his own the idea of doing an island. Then a report came along where the Boston Society of Architects were promoting a whole range of ideas about what to do with the river. And after Shercliffe did his sketch, Ralph Adams Cram did a different alternative for an island. So his model wasn't just let's extend Boston residential districts you know, out into the island, but actually make a new identity for Boston. One of the things that they both saw as an advantage of filling the island was that it would greatly reduce the cost of bridges from Boston to Cambridge. And it would create real estate. There was pretty constant discussion of what MIT was going to do because they had run out of space. Where in the Back Bay was there a free canvas where you could paint this interconnected new technology complex? Another architect jumps in named Robert Bellows and it may have been Bellows who suggested that MIT move to the island. He had three or four, if I understand, um, different shapes. And his argument was that the Charles River Basin was really too big. And the argument was also that it would be great space to release the burden of these institutions onto a new, a new site. I think when MIT bought the land in 1913, it was over. Because M MIT would have been the big client, potentially for the island. When they said, we're not doing this, then who would, who's gonna go out there, right? Had the Cambridge area already been bought up and sold, yeah, maybe an island might have made sense. Part of the genius, really, ultimately, of Bosworth was to, in some sense, see the building as optically part of Boston, <laughs> you know, even though territorially in Cambridge. So it's basically a courtyard at the scale of the river, at the scale of Boston. So it was really, in some sense, sort of Boston transplanted to Cambridge, um, but yet obviously being on the Cambridge side. 